our own comfort zones at various levels. The externally created ones, like the perfectly organized desk mm. or the immaculately, immaculately tidy room mm. or the order and the method you follow to cook, clean the vessels mm. or whatever, whatever, mm -hmm. are not difficult to see and break out of. It's the internal comfort zone that we build. It's the internal comfort zones that we build and then use to limit ourselves that are not so easy to see and dismantle. Beautiful. In fact, I was just thinking while you were reading that even the external comfort zones, sometimes we're not even aware that these are comfort zones. We just feel this is the way things are this supposed to be. This is me. I yeah. do this. Yeah. I am like this. Mm. I like cleanliness. Mm. I like being tidy. I want my desk like this. No. There's nothing wrong in liking cleanliness. There's nothing wrong in wanting my desk to be tidy. But comfort zone means I'm comfortable only in that way. And if anything happens a little different way, then I'm not comfortable. That's why we'll you say cannot, comfort zone. cannot adjust. Yeah. You're not... Comfort zone is like, this is their comfort zone. Which Even means, you can call it an anger. Yeah. I get angry, get my thing done, I'm comfortable. Comfortable, that's it. Hmm. So I'm comfortable using anger hmm. to get my work done because I can't see any other way to get it done. And any other way is very difficult for me. This seems to be an easier way because many times when we share with people, everything can happen with love and understanding. They say it's so much effort. You explain it to them five times and ten times and you talk to them sweetly and then people will take you for granted and then you again try and they'll keep on testing your patience. This is difficult. It's so easier to just shout once and make it happen. So that is their comfort zone. So that's why it's very beautiful that one is our external comfort zones, which itself we are not aware. But look at this subtle thing of our internal comfort zones. And unless we go beyond our internal comfort zones, we're really not going to be able to experience that bliss that we're looking for because we will be within that bounded thing. And that's why out You've there... You've got to break the barrier of your... Absolutely. And go into the unlimited way of yeah, thinking. From limited to un yeah. unlimited. Unlimited yes. way of thinking. Otherwise, there could be so much and we're not even aware. We're not using our potential. We're not using our qualities. We're not using our strengths. Like you said, anger. If I create anger and live in that comfort zone, I'm not using my quality of love and peace. So I have it and I'm not using it only because I'm comfortable there. Just because of certain conditioning that happened in the past, maybe. Like there was this very sweet story they will share regarding comfort zone. If you take a fish tank, mm. there's a lot of fish in the tank, those little, little ones. And there's this little boy who puts in the food for the fish every day. And the fish is very used to it, that the boy will come and put the food and that's what they're going to get. And then he slides in a transparent glass sheet into that mm. box. Now, it's, it comes in halfway in the box, mm. that transparent glass sheet. It can't be seen, mm -hmm. right? So now what he does is the fish is on one side of the glass sheet mm. and he puts the food on the other side of the glass sheet. Mm. Okay, so the, the fish can see the food. But every time it tries to go towards the food, it hits. it hits the glass sheet. Now this goes on for some time or for a day or two or three days. Uh -huh. And after that, he removes the glass sheet, but the fish doesn't go there. Past experience. Past experience is that when I did this once and I did this twice and I did this thrice, I got hurt. Now no more trying. You see the huge elephant system? Yes. What happens to it when it is a child? Absolutely. They use a solid chain, solid strong iron chain with a huge solid tree. Right. Otherwise, he'll break the tree. Right. If the chain is strong and not the tree. Yeah. And slowly when it, it grows cold, finally you can tie it with a small little yeah. thread. Very important. Only because it tried that time. But that time, the capacity was different. Size was different. Age was different. Situations were different. But we tried that time. 
we got hurt, we were in pain, we failed and so no more trying again. You don't fail. Yes. You fail when you stop trying. Yes. But that past experience, let's say I tried something and I didn't get what I wanted. I say, okay, fine. I'm never going to do this again. I can't do this. Five years, ten years later also, I'm going to say, I can't do it. Don't tell me to do this. Comfort zone. And because of which, we're not able to explore and experience so much just because now we are no more ready to move out of that comfort zone. So it's important to break free and go beyond these comfort zones. And if we just see what are the few factors because of which we create our comfort zones, the biggest one is the image that we created about ourselves right from the time when we were a child. The self-image. Mm. It's very, 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 very deep and very powerful comfort Does zone. that image we create ourselves, about ourselves, uh, is that because my parents say some things to me? <laughs> Lots. He is a lazy boy. Look yeah. at the other one. Yeah. He'll we just tell him and he runs. Right. This fellow will never work. Yeah. Ekdam lazy hai. Right. He likes to eat and sleep. Mm. He won't move out of the room. True. So parents? They give him a label. Yeah. Teachers? Teachers? Siblings? Friends? Because that is the age but when... Uh, you... Sorry to ah. disturb you. But aren't... There are people who are born lazy like that. Even then, we could have changed it. No, but we cannot blame Even... only the parents, teachers and siblings and the school and the world for somebody to be somebody. Uh, it is, even if I have a sanskar, ah. there is a way of changing it. Then again, it is the duty of parents. Very important. But if we label them and we give them that energy and that sentence continuously, they use that energy to create an image of themselves. It's like everything that people around me when I'm this much are thinking and speaking about me is the colors that I use to create a painting of myself. That's my self-image. I really don't use too much of my creativity because I don't know myself. I know myself only through the eyes of what everybody else is saying but this can be so critical let's say my father is a very hot tempered person so how is he going to talk to me what's he going to say about me he is not in the right stable state of mind so even a small mistake his reaction is going to be very very Ten big times, times. and i'm going to use that reaction hmm. to paint a picture of myself you see if Another parent who's very stable and calm and I make a mistake and the parent will say, it's okay, you can do it again, get up, move, I paint another picture. But if my parent is very critical, very aggressive, the parent's going to say, no good, useless, don't even try again, you are just ruining everything around you, another picture. It's a two different pictures, just depends on what I got from people around me when I was a child. But that's okay. It's past. It's past. But we have created these self-images and sometimes we're not even aware that today what we are thinking and how we are feeling is only coming through that picture. See, now we don't create that picture too much. The picture is really created. We don't change that picture too much unless we consciously work on it. So picture gets created in that age in which people around us play a very important role. And the rest of the life after that, we use that picture to create our thoughts and feelings. We use that picture to create our thoughts Let's and say feelings. somebody says, you're too slow. You just take too long to do everything. You're always late. Picture. Mm -hmm. Now I create that image. And now whatever I do, I will always create a thought. I'm not too sure whether I'll finish on time. I always seem to take so long and that's why people always finish before me and that's why I never succeed in what I'm going to do. That image is my source of thinking. But that image came because he really or she really must be doing that, no, slowly. That's what he said, but we then, could have encouraged them. Who will encourage? The Apart people from around. Parents. Yeah. Only parents can do who, parents? these days even parents don't have time, they, everybody's going for work, yeah. mother works, father works. Nobody's interested in school teacher says, why are you so slow? 
What's so wrong? important is not now what happened that time. Of course, it's important for parents for pre- helping their children to prepare the image now. It's important they can take care what image the child is going to prepare. But for the rest of us, important is now I'm going to move out of the comfort zone of that self-image. So meditation means looking at that self-image and then really ripping it apart because it's not true. It's not true. And exploring that I, the unlimited source of purity, love, power, this is who I am. This little picture drawn with limited colors of the limited thinking of people around me is not me. You know how I did for myself? Yeah. Uh, from childhood, my parents used to be very proud of my anger and discipline and shouting at people and getting things done. So, anyway, that helped me a lot uh, in becoming what I was and and a lot of my things also got done. But result was not very good. I hurt many people in life. So, I started uh, telling myself a new word, a new title every day. Once, I am a royal soul. Mm-hmm son of a royal father and I have to behave like him. No more of that comfort zone of getting angry with people because it always ended hurting the other party and feeling guilty later and hurting myself. Once a royal soul, once I am a powerful soul, a strong soul, a lovable soul and I have to give love. Right. My father gives love to everybody. Right. So, you know, every day I used to keep this kind of a homework for myself. Yeah. This is meditation. Meditation, slightly fading away the earlier image and exploring and experiencing the reality. And we can do that for anything that's drawn on the image. It just doesn't matter how dark it was and how much people confirmed that that is who we are, that is not who we are, that is who we are through the perception of other people. And even if that is who we were that time, Hmm. acquired, but that is not originally which any soul is. Every soul originally is beautiful. A lot of acquired sanskars and a lot of people around us only focused on our acquired sanskars. And if we don't take care now, a lot of people around us will keep on confirming that previous old self-image and say, yes, you are an angry person. You only keep shouting. So the image just keeps getting darker and darker. And meditation helps us to just delete, fade it away. Everything said and done and everything I thought about myself in the past is not true. So it helps us by experiencing, creating new way of thinking. And this is a very, very beautiful one. If you just take one of this every day and then watch yourself in action, A royal soul is the one which is not dependent on anyone. When we thought royal soul, it always meant royalty outside in the way we sit and the way we talk and the way we walk. But royal soul means who's not dependent and not begging anyone for happiness and love. Royal who has everything, everything inside, very, very rich in values and qualities. So it's a beautiful line to take up for the whole day. And what about... uh meditation on this royal soul and changing on your comfort zone. Definitely. Let's sit back and look at the screen of the mind. A lot of people when I was young have said a lot about me. They were all right in their own way. They were doing it for my good. But I created a limited image of myself. An image which was largely negative. And now, it's time to delete. It's the past, it's over. I will not live the rest of my life using that image as the source of my thoughts. Whatever they said, how much ever everybody confirmed it, it was only an acquired sanskar. I, the soul, am a royal soul. Royal.
royalty in my every thought and feeling royalty in my every word and action let me look at myself a royal soul at work today a royal soul at home with family and friends how would my every thought and feeling be royalty wealth complete unlimited abundance everything to share and give to others.